Okay, good evening. Good evening, YouTube. Good evening, London. Good evening, guys. I'm back again with another stream. Thanks for everyone that's been watching the videos, especially my 391 the other night when YouTube kind of weren't having it. Things went back to normal last night, even though the camera was upside down. Hopefully, I saw it tonight. I never really placed my phone differently, so YouTube's been a bit funny. One of my videos as well, like the Rapid Vienna video, was on like 180 views. Today I looked at it, it's gone down to 70. Okay. Which one is it? 70, 180. I know this ain't loads of views, but I mean, YouTube are a bit funny with me. <laughs> Moving a bit dodgy. But big up YouTube. Hopefully we can all be friends. And on to our full news. Now, Edu overruled Arteta. In the signing of uh, Thomas Party, apparently Arteta wanted a while. Eddie wanted Party. I thought my, um, this guy was the coach and promoted to manager now. Why wouldn't you be uh, listening to your manager? Interesting. We'll see what's going to happen with that, if anything, if it's all bulls, bull, 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 bulls or not. But anyway, yeah. Arsenal, Barcelona, and Napoli are all tracking Daniel Malam, our former striker. Um, He's kind of been smashing it in Holland. They're saying 25, 35 mil. I read somewhere 54.9 release clause. I don't think that's true. I'm not sure. But I've read 54 mil a couple of places. Um, so I don't know. I'm obviously not a journalist. I'm not in the know. So this is just what I'm reading and seeing. So, But I do know he was our former player. So would it make it easier to get him back? Who knows? He's been here once. Mustafi wants to leave on a free next year. Go. 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 Like, unbelievable. We couldn't just cash in. Like, we paid 34 million for him. What a. Oh. Mate, Mustafi. I didn't like you when we first signed you during the middle. At the end, I never liked you throughout your whole Arsenal career. I don't like a lot of people at Arsenal. Is that passion? There you go. Who knows? Um, Arsenal done dork. I'll go into more tomorrow. Um, the only thing I will say on it is um, who would you like in your team? Would you pick Renarsson? Would you pick an Akinola? Is it flipping time for Saliba to finally play again? Oh no, we can't even play European games. This is dead. Like, unbelievable what's going on with Saliba. Like, what a kick in the, the knackers for him. Like, unbelievable people. Like, I don't understand what's going on, why he won't play him. I'll keep saying it. Wesley Fafana. Other people are saying it as well. It isn't just me. Um, playing so well for Leicester. Like, getting his chance. 19, come from the same team, same country, same club, same age. But only one of them plays ball in the Premier League so far. Um, with Marion Chambers um, basically back in training as well now and holding only a week away, um, where does Saliba figure now? He's obviously going to put Mari ahead of him. Will Chambers be ahead of him? I doubt it. Well, who knows? I mean, I don't know. I think everyone's going to be ahead of him now. I don't think he's interested in playing him. Is it because it's Emre signing? Let's have a little pause and look at some of Emre signings, okay? Pepe, 72 mil. Saliba, 27 mil. Guendouzi, 7 mil. Socrates, 16.9. Leno, 19 mil. Only out of all them players I just shouted, Leno is a regular. Pepe's in and out of the team, has been since the start of Arteta's reign. Happened with Emre as well. I don't think Emery actually wanted him, he wanted Zaha, but that is definitely a story for another day. What I'm getting at here is Guendouzi caught the coronavirus train all the way to Germany. Socrates doesn't doesn't have a squad number for this season. Well, he doesn't, he's not in the squad, you know what I mean. Saliba hasn't played a minute of football. Pepe gets in only when he's ready. So only Leno is the one that's liked from the Emery era. Now, guys, out of Socrates, Guendouzi, Saliba, and Pepe, uh, uh, Leno is not the one I like most. Uh, I can't explain it all. I don't know. Uh, I just want to see Saliba play football. And, um, yeah, with Mari Chambers back holding, basically going to be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Where does he get his chance? I'm going to move on to tonight's Champions League football. There was some good games tonight. Uh, da -da -da, right, Locomotive, Mo blah, 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 blah. Locomotive Moscow 1, Bayern 2. Goretzka and Kimmich with the goals. Athleti 3, 
Red Bull Salzburg 2. Felix got a couple. Loriente scored also. Shakhtar nil, Inter Milan nil. Didn't even know they were playing. Okay. Marseille nil, Man City 3. Torres, Sterling, and God knows who scored. We'll leave it as God knows. Atlanta 2, Ajax 2. What a game that was. I did watch it. Mad game of two halves. Ajax down them in the first half. Played really good football. I was thinking, I tipped Atlanta for a win here. What's going on? And Atlanta took 15 minutes to come straight back in the second half 2-2. And probably should have won the game, you know. I'll say fair result, but you know. Shouts out to Easy. Ross there. Liverpool 1-2-0 tonight. Jota again. The £41 million reserve. And Salah. They brought on the big three towards the end. Liverpool... I didn't really watch it. I was sort of watching BT's coverage of all of the games while I was mainly watching the Ajax game over on a different channel. And But flicking back to BT, obviously, to keep an eye on all the scores. But Liverpool, yeah, doing well in the group, 2 up. Shouts out to you, Easy. And the other English representation tonight, who was it again? Ah, uh, Man City, obviously, yeah, 3 0. God knows who did get that third goal for them. Man, that's bad. Anyway, yeah, so apart from that, guys, nothing much. It's Dundalk on Thursday. The mighty Dundalk from Ireland. God knows why Saliba is deemed not good enough to play against the mighty Dundalk, the part-timers of Ireland. Um, but yeah, who else will be in this team? Um, what do you think? Um, um, oh my God, man. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. We're playing Man United away at the weekend. Wow, 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 wow. Is that going to be the fourth defeat? Seriously, already in the league season, guys. Right, is this the time to be all pessimistic? Sorry, man, some dust was annoying me there, yeah. I'm a bit... Hmm, I don't like dust. And, um, yeah, um, Man United away, like... Is that even this week? I'm not sure, actually. I can't even... Oh, I just see it flash up on Sky Sports News, Man United Arsenal. I'll take it that is this week, possibly. I don't know. That would be. I'll talk about that more on tomorrow's stream. Whoever playing on the weekend, God knows, man. Day at a time at the moment. But yeah, guys, thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the subscribers. Peace. Shouts out to Fresh Richard. Uh, shouts out to Debbie. Mwah. Love you, girl. What's going on? Shouts out to Viv. Who else we got? I can't remember. Shouts out to J Ben. Shouts out to A and B. What's going on? What's your team news, boy, brother, for uh, Thursday? What would you do, personally? Who are we playing at the weekend? It's bugging me now. I need not the laptop on, boss. <laughs> I'm not meant to be swearing, am I? That wasn't a swear, but I didn't swear there. But anyway, guys, until tomorrow, I'll, it'll be the Arsenal versus Dundalk preview. Um, I'll be looking into tomorrow's Champions League game, taking a bit more a look over the roundup. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing loan watch, or shall I leave that to Thursday? The loan watch of uh, some of our players. There's loads of EF EFL games all the time. There's another bunch today. So, um, and uh, Division 1 and 2, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. Basically, that is it, guys. Ah, one more piece of news. Gabriel Martinelli is also very close to returning to light training and training itself. He says he feels his knee. His knee's good. He feels fine. So, um... Yeah, that's a fighter. We need him back on the field as well, man. Um, yeah, we have just a quick general breakdown of the news again today. Yeah, there is no news. Literally, Martinelli's ready. Chambers and Mari are fit again. And that makes me wonder where does Saliba figure. But anyway, guys, until tomorrow, shout out to Easy as well. Listen, guys, get the likes up, get subscribing. Thanks for the love. YouTube, please let me get a normal number of videos out. And um, yeah. Peace out, guys. Um, Champions League reviews tomorrow. Um, loan watch left in the year. Forget it. Loan watch tomorrow. Champions League review. And the review of Arsenal versus Dundalk. And then, of course, there'll be a stream on that Thursday for Dundalk. Might not be two for, for the mighty Dundalk. Who knows what's going on. But tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow evening, guys. A little bit earlier than tonight. But please like. Please subscribe if you're new. Please, come on. Hit the subscribe button. And yeah, uh, get me on Instagram and Twitter, guys. Danny AFC TV or Dan underscore A A AFC TV. And um, please send the link around and uh, show me some love, all right? Shouts out to everyone. Shouts out to ev everyone. Anyone that I didn't mention, I'm sorry. Shouts out to my grandson who was with me all day today. Big Demario. And yeah, speak to you all tomorrow. Good night, peeps. Easy.